Hey everyone, my name is Justin from JustThisGood.com and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a fun dotted outline on the person or object of your choice in Photoshop. Alright, so I love this effect because it really pops but it's super easy to do. And best of all, you don't really need to create a detailed selection. You just need a rough selection. So that's why we're going to grab our quick selection tool. So with your photo open in Photoshop, grab the quick selection tool, set it to add to selection mode, and you just want to be working with a brush size that's comfortable for you to reach all the areas of your object. So I'm going to use this here, and don't worry if some of the parts go a little bit too far. That'll be a quick fix in just a moment. So once I've got all of her covered pretty much, I'm going to just grab my subtract from selection tool take care of that little gap right there and I'll fill in a few more spaces by the hair. Next we're going to do a quick smoothing of this line and we're going to expand it. So with your selection still active head over to the select menu and go to modify and first we're gonna we're gonna modify the smoothness so we'll use a smoothness of about five you could play around with it and then next we're gonna expand it out so go to select modify expand if you didn't know about this modify menu it's a really useful tool so I'll expand mine by about 12 pixels and you can see that just pushes out the edge so that it creates that base for the outline right click and select make work path now the higher the tolerance you use the less it's detailed the selection is going to be. Let's use a tolerance of about three pixels. So that looks about good. And now we want to convert it to a shape so we can add our stroke. But let's work on a new layer at this point. So we'll go to layer, new layer. Now, since we're working with the path, we want to switch over from our selection tool to our pen tool. And this is going to give us a couple new options in the menu bar. So the one you want to hit is shape and that'll create a new shape right onto our new layer that we just made. But we don't want this shape, we just want an outline. So what you're going to do now is head over, since we're working with the shape, to the custom shape tool. Any of them will work, so I'll just use the rectangle one here because it's first. And you want to set the fill of your shape to nothing. This dash through line is transparent. So now we just have our transparent shape and you want to take the stroke and you want to set a color. So I'll use a fun color like yellow and you'll see it comes up with the default dotted but if you open up this menu here you could switch between dotted, stroke, or a solid line. So I like this dashed line. You could adjust the weight of the pixels by right here. If you hit enter you'll get a bigger dash but I like a smaller dash that's a little bit more hand drawn. And now there's a few options you can use to personalize or customize the way you want your dash to be. So the alignment, you could have it as center, inside, or outside. So right now you can see it's on inside, so the bottom half dash is showing up. I'm going to select outside because I don't want that to show up. Um, also, you can click this more options button to get an easier menu to work with. So we'll set the alignment to outside. We'll set the caps to square that's fine for me and then you could also tell Photoshop how to handle the corners and since I want a smooth outline I'm gonna use round. If you want to get your dashes further apart turn up the amount of gap. So right now it's at 2 so you'll see what happens if I turn it up to 4 and you can also see what happens if I turn it up to 10. So that just separates your dash so let's leave it at something like 5 and then your dash here is the amount of length in your dash so a length of 2 and then a gap of 5 looks like this but a length of 10 and a gap of 5 looks like this so you could play around with that however you want and you can even have three different dashes alternating between each other so if you want to create a cool unique setup here with like dot dot dash and or dash dot dash you can do that too and go ahead and press ok when you're ready once you select off of the shape or any of the pen or path tools you should see that little silver line go away and you'll have your dotted outline of your object. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. Try this out on your own and let me know. You guys can always reach out to me on any social media or in the comments below. And also, big thanks to everyone who was a good sport about the last video. I did pull a little bit of an April Fool's joke on you guys if you haven't seen it. Thanks for being a good sport. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time.